it it's not like you buy one copy of the Tal Shiar pack and it fixes your entire Romulan fleet. No, but it's getting it, close. It's getting close. I, I will um, say that pack has done more to help the Romulan pack than I think any pack did to help its faction short of the Ferengi pack. Ah, the Vulcan pack. I think the Vulcan pack saved the Vulcans. I suppose. I guess I've just always seen the Vulcan as a subset of Federation. No, oh, well, I'm saying if you if you cut out, yeah, I, I if you cut if you out want the, to make the Vulcans, their own the Vulcans yeah. sucked. Yes. And now you buy one Vulcan pack and you can play it competitively. Um, okay. I, yes. Yeah. Like I mean, the flipping how many how many scan tokens do you want to run on your your Temet? Do, do you want one? Do, do you want six? I think I saw a guy running like nine scan tokens on <laughs> on yeah. one of his his Vulcan ships. And it's like okay, at that point, you're just doing this for fun. <laughs> uh huh. Uh-huh. Which is kind of why the game exists. Oh, okay. I guess that's the other way. How do you beat the Romulans? Scan tokens. I, you know, I don't see that strategy very often. But fair enough. You run Vulcans. I, well, you it's, run what it's is the same you theory as Nantlus, right? Make yeah. it so they don't get their defense dice. It makes sense that the, that the that the Vulcans would be the ones who bring the strategy for killing. I mean, killing Romulans. granted, rule of three still applies. You can only knock down three of their defense dice. But if they're adding Another one. defense dice from a means other than cloak, because cloak is a replacement value, then, oh, you, know what? Sorry. then you can counter more. Uh, to the audience who don't know why I'm interrupting all the time, ADHD. I do my best. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It, it works. <laughs> There's also uh, the 2017 starter set was mm-hmm. themed around uh, cloak and anti-cloak builds and there is is it it's not calvin hudson it's oh what's his name he's the guy who is so critical of data on oh, uh, the um... just basically my point is run cards that are specifically designed to hunt cloaked vessels there uh-huh. are cards like that there's federation crew which makes it so enemy ships roll negative two if they're cloaked uh, i think there's a one or two um, Federation ships that specifically do more damage or reduce the amount of defense dice when you're attacking cloaked ships. Yeah, Christopher Hobson. Christopher Hobson. Yeah. I'm like, I know how to find that. Yes. So, again, if you know you're going up against cloak, whether that's a um, thematic play or a meta that's just very cloak heavy bring hobson and he's a two-point mm. crew and he the other just way works he's a win attacking yeah i i think that um i think another one you would want to focus on is cards which do extra stuff when you hit a critical because since romulans primarily use their hull they don't use their shields too much okay. because they're cloaking if you have like those uh like attack pattern omega or um, things like uh, Andori, no Orion Tactical Officer. Cards which, when you apply a critical hit to an enemy ship, allow you to search the deck for a special card. Those, I think, would be better against Romulans than most other factions. I haven't necessarily tried that strategy, but I, I think I'd like to see someone attempt it. I could buy that. Um, while I don't think it's like the the best op i'm gonna win everything strategy uh, i think it could be a fun way to go about killing some romulans and of course you can always hit them with cloak mines yeah that too well oh, certainly you're gonna make fighters. It so romulans don't want to cloak yeah fighters fighters will work too um I'll not even... many, not many Romulans actually have scans. They tend to be missing scans. Yes. So that's the thing. Cloaked mines um, do more damage if you can't scan. Yeah, one of the new cards in the faction pack gives Romulans a uh, scan on their action bar. But you got to bring oh. that as an upgrade, and that's a choice. And you know, we didn't say that was a great thing to do. It's an okay thing to do, but it's not a great thing to do. All right. Uh, any other ways? <laughs> not that we need to pile on on ways to beat Romulans when they're not the strongest faction. 
at least not before this. But any other ways you have to beat up the Romulans? Hmm. Uh. Steal their cards. Ooh. I mean, that's always. If you got a way to steal their their tech, um, make them waste their one use um interface generators. Mm. So that means like you know have like a essentially a very scary looking attack that you are willing to throw away. Um. Something like a photonic cannon, maybe. You fire that off at one Romulan ship. It immediately throws away its interface generator, and now you're just open to attack. Yeah. Um, uh, if you can steal their tech or disable their tech, you got your Borg cards, you got some of your like nasty Mirror Universe, like uh, Jennifer or whatever. You throw those things out. Um, if you can kill their tech that their whole ships rely on, their ships become more vulnerable. Uh huh. Oh, also give them auxiliary power tokens. Ooh. Yeah. If if you like, Ferengi torpedoes. Do anything. Just do anything to give auxiliary power tokens to Romulan ships, and uh, it it really hurts them, because then they can't cloak. That's basically it. Make sure they can't cloak. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's maybe a good ambassador to to use if you know you're up against Romulans. And Soval, but actually, Ambassador Soval is an interesting one. Um, where if you accept negotiations for the rest of the game, if the ship moves within range one of the target ship, um, or the target ship moves within range one of this ship, place an ox power token beside that the ship that moved. If you deny it, you make an attack against the target ship with three attack dice, it can't be modified or re rolled. So the Romulan, if you target a Romulan ship with that, they have to be very cautious because you can knock out their shields right away and then that ship could never cloak. Hmm. I don't know if this would be that useful against the, the Donatra Scout, which you're going to see frequently. But um, yeah, if you could uh, stock maybe a Dardex with this, definitely you could use him against a D7. Yeah. Because you could, if, if he takes that attack, he loses his shields, can't cloak. If he doesn't take the attack, then you can just stock him, and he isn't going to have the firepower necessarily to destroy your ship. Right. Um, it's a it's a weird choice. I, I don't know that it's an amazing thing, but it's at least... I'm trying to think a little outside the box here. Yeah. Um, so. so I think that covers how to fight them. Uh-huh. Which brings us to... Um, what do you need to Buyer's buy? Guide. Initially, I thought this would be, like, super easy. Um, and it was, I'll say, easy to come up with my list, but my list was bigger than I thought it would be. Okay. Well, I think I think we can start with the easy one. Buy, uh, the, buy the new faction pack. Yeah, Tal Shiar faction pack. Maybe uh, buy two of all them. sorts of... Uh, yeah, if I had more money, I would have bought two, but uh, I don't have more money. However, I did pre-order, so it's going to come here... Eventually, yes. All those I, beautiful the same little ships. Yeah, like it's like that's that's one of the reasons why it's like buy the stuff when you have the money. Yeah. So when you don't have the money, it arrives in the mail, and it's like you did have the money, <laughs> mm -hmm. which is kind of just a way of saying like don't save, which is terrible advice. But um, <laughs> save your money, folks. Never mind. Save your money. I need an orange to throw at someone. Uh. <laughs> Someone here will get that joke. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, so the Tal Shiar pack. What does the Tal Shiar pack do in a nutshell? In one to, one to three sentences, what does it do? Why should we buy it? Um, it gives the Romulans amazing things that they've needed for a very long time. Uh, it gives them bank echoes. Uh, it gives a lot of very useful cards that let you play Romulans in ways that you wanted to before that you couldn't until now. Yes, uh, and speaking of bank echoes, um, I have been asking for years for a Lieutenant Laurier ability to be mm -hmm. added to this game. Um, he was a card from the X-Wing game, which was really useful. And essentially it was a TIE Interceptor where if you 
did a barrel roll, which was that game's version of Sensor Echo, but it was only with a one to speed token, you could use a one bank. And he was, I think, supposedly very useful to that game like early on and it's like to me it was wild that star trek attack when we never used a bank as a sensor echo yeah and I, it got to the point like whenever i created like a a like spore drive custom card i always was like yeah you may perform a one like discard this card to perform a a four bank sensor echo or a three turn sensor echo because that would be like really reminiscent of like you know um discovery like you know appearing beside the enemy ship from that one scene in season one where it just essentially teleports around an enemy ship to hit it from all sides and like the fact that they just never put a bank ability in until now 2022 or i guess technically 2021 but they didn't release it until 2022 um but yeah they've they've added it now and it's like that is going to to just i think that it's going to be the game changer to the meta this card specifically is going to be such a game changer um but yeah it lets you do those banks now um they're improved cloaking great um uh sensor echoes great you've got the new denatra you've got so many nice cards in here um so this is definitely and the other thing part of the buyer's guide part of this it's it's available or it will be soon uh, like I think most of the pre-orders have been bought up, but like shops are going to be stocking this pack for a while. Yeah. So you can buy it. My other wh one thing I would suggest buying is uh, the old Romulan faction pack, at the very least for Mirok Science Vessel and uh, additional weapons array. Um, but the thing is, is it's nearly impossible to find the old Romulan pack, so you don't need to buy it. But like if you want to. It's it's got some good cards in there, and you'll get four ships, and they have nice paint jobs. I'd say the best paint jobs the Romulans ever had, like dark green with some light green highlights and gold. Like yeah, that's cool. But yeah, uh, mainly the Tal Shiar pack, optionally the old Romulan faction pack. Uh, after that, I would say the next obvious pack to buy is the IRW Praetis. Because it comes with the cloaked mines, the rest of the pack is yeah. is almost garbage, almost not quite. It's a it's like what a twelve point ship as a generic, and it's not even good. <laughs> like to say that a twelve or thirteen point ship isn't good, like at all. <laughs> let me let me bring it up. Um, oh my gosh, the uh, it's listed as bird of prey. Oh, I was wondering why nothing was appearing, and I set it to scan for uh, ambassadors. <laughs> okay, it's not appearing. What am I doing wrong? How do you spell prey? Is it E Y? Why isn't this? Oh, is it with a dash? Utopia is almost perfect. Yeah. Almost. There we go. There's a dash between bird and of. I mean, there we go. and That's of and prey. Yeah. So, um, the Praetis, the Praetis, here we go. It's a 14 point ship. It's generic is also 14 points. And uh, its ability lets you cloak without shields, and it has the chance to deal damage to your ship, which might just kill you in three turns. But um, the captain, I think it comes with an okay captain because he gives you a tech slot. But that's about it. You get um, some... I personally like... I, I actually really like the nuclear torpedoes it comes with. So yeah, nuclear warheads or something. It's nuclear missiles. That's what it is. It comes with a nuclear missiles card. Just because I like being able to say I can nuke an enemy. <laughs> but it's most of its stuff is pretty blasé and not all that great. But it does come with a single copy of Cloaked Mines. So <laughs> I have... Let me see how many copies of the Praetis I bought. <laughs> uh, I bought four. Um, I know that one. I think... Yeah, it, it comes with polarized hull, arm, hull plating, which is... Okay. It's Yeah, it's okay. It's a two-point tech. Okay. That's pretty much all you need to expect from it. Yeah. I like it sort of as a thematic because, you know, polarized hull plating. 
Uh-huh. I think I bought four. I can only find three of the cards right now, but I'm pretty sure I bought four. Um, between three or four is pretty much how many you realistically need. Um, you can yeah. always go more than that, but um, at that point, it's getting a bit excessive, and people might not like your play style. No, well, and um. the reason I, I bought a fourth was uh, twofold. Uh, one, the the store I was playing at regularly um, had a clearance on ships as they went out of business. So I said, uh, yes, sure, I'll pick up another copy of Cloaked Mines for like three bucks. Um, and second, uh, I at the time my collection was supporting uh, three people. So I was like, yeah, I need at least one cloaked mine per person plus the ability for someone to run a second but yeah um while you're looking i will say if you can't get a hold of the 2017 romulan faction pack and i i do know that it's out of print for most for everybody and very difficult to get um interface generator is probably one of the most important cards out of that pack oh I forgot, but you can get that in the Apnex. The Apnex, yes. Um, so that might that be a little original. more just, accessible. Yeah, just keep in mind though that it is considered a ship unique card now. Yes. So, and that has a tiny bit of a rata, but who cares? It, it it works exactly the same way. So that's your only kind of um, interchange there. And mm-hmm. really, I like I'm at the point now with with cards because so much is out of print. Like, if you're playing at home, if you're even playing at a local tournament, local OP day or whatever, let's be nice to new people and let them run. Maybe not everything printed off, but a few things printed off, and say, like, yeah, yeah, hey, I, this is a proxy of this card that is completely out of print that I can't get a hold of. Uh, yeah. Like if, if they come in with 3d printed ships and nothing but paper, then that's, that might be a little bit of a problem. Uh, they, they that's a big, problem. really no money into the, uh, the game. And the fact of the matter is we do need to support the game. Yes. Because that, I mean, there is a kind of a line though. Cause like, they knew we wanted cards and ships and they didn't release any. So it's like, they kind of do know that there is a market for this, but like for some reason, WizKids, which has, I think stupid amounts of money right now because they also have a good chunk of D and D, um, uh, just doesn't really want to feed anything into Sta, which is kind of sad. But, well, um, I, I do think the point is though, under, support under the stuff. game at least a yeah. little bit. <laughs> Buy what you can. Buy what's available. Don't don't pay eBay scalper prices. Eesh, yeah, that, that's another video entirely. But yeah, one that we probably won't make because we'll tick off too many people. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yes, so find um, find a way to get an interface generator. Um, yeah, if you can get some of these ships, I think you'll be good. Um, I think if you can get the Tal Shiar, then the rest is optional. Yeah, but um, for the most part, yeah, I do have a list. I think uh, the um, Vrax. Ooh, yeah. Nope. The Vrax. I don't own the Vrax. Um, I because kind of eventually I managed to get enough ships cards from other factions, which filled the role. But the Vrax to me, um, it was the bridge officer was really what you want. But you're gonna get some other stuff in there too. Like you're gonna get well the Vrax, which is a Valdor. No, Valdors aren't perfect, but they're a step up from the Daredex's in attack value. But it comes with Bridge Officer, which uh, synergizes nicely, I think, with the Tal Siar pack. Because, actually, he synergizes with literally any weapon that has time tokens. <laughs> um, did you, did the call drop? No, I'm, I'm here. Sorry, oh, I'm, okay. uh, I'm, um, I'm trying to figure out, there's... If there's anything... Yeah, You'd sorry. Want the... There's a there's a Romulan crew I'm I'm thinking of that. Well, bridge officer is the one that uh, lets you I think move uh, put time tokens on him instead of a weapon or one less time token. Actually, I'm just gonna look them up. I have the thing here. Bridge 
Um, here we go. Uh, when you are instructed to place time tokens on one or more of your weapon upgrades, place one less time token than required. Uh, so he's like an Esri Dax for, Rom for, for Romulan weapons, basically. Because he upgrades to... Uh, he costs three SP, but he costs five, uh, six if you put him on a non-Romulan ship. Also, the Varax as a ship looks nice. It's uh, that sort of transparent green. Mm. Now, I, I think... Okay, so I used to say the Valor... You don't like that, do you? <laughs> no, no, no. I... I it's okay. Oh, it's okay. not my like. I don't like the the candy colored ships. They're not my personal style. But I understand why some people would would love them. I um, want to eat the Talvath. <laughs> I want to eat it so bad. It looks like Jolly Rancher. <laughs> don't eat <laughs> ships. Don't eat attack. But I ships. wanna. <laughs> They're not good <laughs> for you. Oh, uh, but yeah, uh, um, I understand why the Valdor would be on the list, but the, it I used think to the, be. Uh, I took it off the Tal Shiar with, pack. With, yeah, with the Tal Shiar because every important you, card is in the Tal Shiar pack. Now, if you can't get the Tal Shiar pack for one reason or another, and you can find a way to get the Valdor, like maybe a friend's willing to give it to you, or. Uh, you just find it in it. an old shop somewhere. Uh, go ahead and swipe up a Valdor if you can't get the Tal Shiar. Um, but if you can get the Tal Shiar, then you don't need the Valdor. Because you'll get the better versions of it. You'll get the cheaper Valdor in the Tal Shiar. The better um, Dinatra in the Tal Shiar. Uh, what else was good? I think it came Tactical with... Tactical Officer. Uh, where you get to essentially do a double reroll with a, oh, a target you know... lock. I think I almost never use him. Basically, you but, don't um, because he's three points for that, and and the crew slot. And I get it that, but back in I the used day, to use him a lot, in wave not, no. zero, wave one, like that was actually good. Mm -hmm. There, there was a it's time when that was a good card. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got also. Um, let's see, uh, the animated pack. Yes, um, and comes with your Lars, which is, in my opinion, one of the best Romulan captains. I, and the I Talon, think the which is a very is... simple to build yeah. Romulan ship. I think that's a necessity. Like, I think that is maybe your number two priority. I, I think you oh, go no. Tall Shiar pack and then go track down an animated series pack. Which is funny because there's very few Romulan cards in there, but all of them are good. Uh, yeah, and if not all of them, almost all of them. Like, and there's a ton of utility with what, what exists there. Yeah. Um, here, where did Talon go? There it is. My good old Talon. And speaking of the game possibly coming back to a maneuvers game, the Talon, oh, it's uh -huh. so good for maneuvers. Because you got yourself a, a, if you're cloaked by the time you reveal your dial, you can perform a one forward, one bank, or another... Well, yeah, one forward or one bank. Or you can perform a sensor echo. With some of the cards in the Tal Shiar pack, you can get free sensor echoes. So you can just take the one banks. Mm -hmm. um, and those sensor echoes can become banks as, uh, bank sensor echoes. Which means that the when the Talon first came out, to put it in perspective, when the Talon first came out, I made a post on the Star Trek Attack Wing Facebook group showing a diagram of how in... Using a one forward or a two forward, all the locations that the Talon could end up on the board, and it just appears wherever it wants. And that was before bank sensor echoes were a thing. So now it can appear wherever it wants and face I, wherever just, it wants, basically. Yes! It's just going to be wild! It's going to be banning the Borg's turns all over again. It's going to be great. Yeah. Since there's no OP event, so WizKid's going to have a hard time finding out that it's completely broken. But it also might just be what this game needs to might break be. sort of the action economy, Klingon swarm meta that we're living in. Yeah. Uh, I'll take okay. it. Okay. All right. So after that, we've got some ships which aren't maybe all that great, but they come with one card that's pretty good. Um, we've got the Hakona. That'll get you Mendak, which is one of the easiest ways to get battle stations but again if you have the tal shiar pack you might not need it um, um 
Yeah. It also does come with some 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 nice crew. The uh, Romulan, what is it? Tactical officer or security guy? Helmsman. Oh, it, I like the Romulan helmsman. Hmm. There's also um, the Vortivor comes with the old advanced cloaking, which I use on pretty much all my Romulan builds. Okay. Yeah. Which basically just lets you stay cloaked. Uh, if you can't get the Tal Shiar, you, and for some reason can get a copy of the Scimitar, you can get the Scimitar, but good luck getting a Scimitar in 2022. I, I um, have an extra. The, uh, the Ray Tag comes with Nancalis. Um, unfortunately, though, the Romulan Birders of Praise, both the Toss version and the Enterprise era versions, do have a lot to be. Uh, left to be desired. Um, they don't even swarm nicely, sadly. I wish they would lower their price or something. But um, they're really nice-looking ships. At the very least, you can use them as like a display model on your shelf. Yeah. Oh, they've got that um, beautiful bird on them. Let me interject. Romulan Pilot is a card you Ooh, that want was a, to get. That, I think, was a prize only, right? I believe so. Um, it was, I, I, I remember I buying check. it in a set with the. Uh, it came with, or maybe it was in a rare set, and then it was released as a prize as a reprint. Yes, I think. Um, I think the Romulan pilot here. I, I'm checking. The Romulan pilot was on the prize ship, the Azurmir, and then it was a, an OP walk in the door. Here's your Romulan pilot. Yeah, it. I think it came with the. You could get it with the uh oh, what was it? Um Photonic Cannon. Yes. You, so you the, sometimes see it being sold with the Photonic Cannon and some was, other card. That, yeah, it was part of Trap Travesty OP. Here we go. Reaction, discard this card, place a scan token, and this card may perform this ship may perform a green maneuver. Yeah. It's uh that's one of the cards that I like to include into to racing builds, because me and the Manchester guys used to occasionally uh have Star Trek attack wing races. Uh-huh. And Ramen Pilot was a fun one. <laughs> yes. So so that's another the card efficient. that's an option. I, I don't think it, And it's a movement card. It's a movement. Don't go out and spend a ton of money to get it, but if you can find it, if somebody's got an extra round, because they might, it might be tucked in a back mm -hmm. corner with a bunch of other OP stuff. You know. Future proofing. It. Someone in the future might be watching this video and not be able to find the Tal Shiar pack. If you can't buy the Tal Shiar pack then you might want to get the Scimitar, the Vortivore, um, the Hakona, and uh, the old Romulan pack. Um, so, like that's 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 actually a statement of how good the Tal Shiar pack is. Is if you have that, then you don't really need all those other ones. Uh huh. But I still um, make if you don't, argument... then there's all these ships to track them down. I make an argument that if you can get Sailor's Warbird at a decent price it's worth at least considering um uh, but don't don't, don't go I... out and spend a ton of money on it i don't think i have that one let's see well uh, it was a grand prize phase, ship if your ship is cloaked and performs a sensor echo action you may flip your token over to its red side Immediately perform an additional sensor echo action as a free action. So normally you can't double sensor echo, though, I think, right? Right, but Sailor's Word would actually let you double echo. Yeah, so it's like the Picard, lets you double. And Sela isn't a bad if captain. You could, if you could pair that with the, with the I think it's the Takehog. Uh-huh. Oh, being able to three sensor echo. Actually, Sela's Warbird with the new cloaking device. That's what I was. Oh my gosh! At. You just rotate your ship ninety degrees. Uh huh. Uh huh. Over a lar long distance, because I think two two one banks is like the equivalent of a three turn. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. You'll be going from fl flying to the side to suddenly either flying behind them or in front of them. Like. Oh. oh. Yes. Yeah. Sailor's Warbird's ridiculous. So. Like you want a movement game back? That's a way to do it. But, again, if you can't get a hold of it, and I know a lot of people can't, it's it was a grand prize ship. Not a ton of these went out, and high scalper prices, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Don't, don't go chasing 
you know, two hundred dollar ships. That's not the purpose of anything here. Especially if the meta changes. Yeah. Don't buy a hood. Um, my my general rule of thumb is, don't buy a ship for forty bucks unless you really really want it. 